Hello everyone, this is Jozef Notch here and welcome back to the CFD summer series where I talk about open form related and CFD related questions, ideas and topics. And today's topic is going to be Snappy Hex Mesh and its documentation because um, as part of my work creating um, you, you, I already posted a video on this tutorial on the rotating mesh, rotating fan tutorial and I hope that you like this tutorial. Um, and while setting this up I was introduced to this link here, Snappy Hex Mesh and if I click on that I was really amazed by the description that you get here because you guys uh, ask uh, a full um, uh, snappy hex mesh uh, tutorial which I have uh, uh, uploaded to Patreon so if you're a Patreon then just go and check out a long or uh, 75 minutes tutorial on snappy hex mesh so if you're interested become a Patreon I really appreciate all the help there and we reached 200 uh, uh, dollar um, or the third uh, goal that i set and now i am able to upload every month a simulation project video and every second month additionally on top of that a quick tip video now we are at 16 videos on patreon but i just wanted to mention that so you guys are asking for snappy hex uh, tutorials here you go and an additional possibility to check out Snappy Hex Mesh is this on openform.com in the official documentation as I mentioned coming from this uh, rotating mesh tutorial to Snappy Hex Mesh I will give you this link in the description box below and if you go through this is awesome this describes you how snappy hex mesh works you have also a nice video here and sh it shows you what's happening with snappy hex mesh and with the refinement and the snapping phases and so on and you have all these possibilities and all the descriptions for what you have to enter in geometry and which um, uh, file formats are supported then all the at searchable objects how you define a box and so you can click yourself through and also where were I here for example add layer controls table of contents there is a lot of description and a great description of what these are I, I really like this um, and for example there is a quick reference for snappy hex mesh and also here keywords what they are are they required or not default settings and so on debug flag, uh, flags there is a lot of documentation on sepi mesh and i'm sure that 99 percent of you guys could could not find this so now i give you here the possibility to find this additionally to my guided video on patreon so i hope that you like this uh, i certainly loved uh, when I saw this. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video guys. I hope that you, li you like it and that you learn from this uh, Snappy Hex Mesh uh, page. Uh, let me know your ideas and your thoughts about this in the comment section below. With that I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.